Suppose we want to compute the triple integral of y dv over region E. Region E is a solid that lies between two cylinders above x y plane and below z equals to x plus 2. Very good. So let us begin. Since we have cylinders, we're going to use cylindrical coordinate system. So cylindrical coordinate system. In cylindrical coordinate system, x is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta, and z is equal to z. Why I'm not changing this? Because both of these have axes of symmetry, which are z axis. So if it was x squared plus z squared equals to 1, and this guy was um, x squared plus z squared equals to 4, then y is going to be the axis of symmetry. So you're going to keep y as it is. So obviously, the radius here is 1. The radius here is 2. So r, or the radius, is bounded between 1 and 2. So this guy has a radius 1, and this guy has a radius 2. So far, so good. So another thing is, if I slice this, my theta is going to be bounded between 0 and 2 pi. And note that this is a nice plane, x plus 2. It only changes the boundary for my z. So theta is bounded between 0 and 2 pi. Well, my z is equal to x plus 2. So what's the meaning of that? You know that x is r cosine theta. So my z becomes r cosine theta plus 2 or 2 plus r cosine theta. So let us start computing this. We have a triple integral of y. The definition of y is r sine theta, r sine theta. My dv is dz, r dr d theta, or r dz dr d theta dz. z is bounded between 0 and 2 plus r cosine theta. My r is bounded between 1 and 2, and my theta is bounded between 0 and 2 pi. Very good. So we have everything. We just need to do the computation. This is the integral, 0 to 2 pi, 1 to 2, and here we have r times r, which gives me r squared, so I have r squared sine theta. And my inner integral is with respect to z, so it doesn't change anything. You have r squared sine theta and z, which is bounded between 0 and 2 plus r cosine theta dr d theta. So know that here you have 2 plus r cosine theta. We cannot separate these. You have to do the computation as it is. This guy becomes the integral 0 to 2 pi. And here you can distribute r squared into parentheses. You get 1 to 2. Sine theta stays outside. 2 r squared plus r cubed cosine theta dr d theta. This guy becomes very good. Here, integral 0 to 2 pi. And here I have sine theta. And I get 2 thirds r cubed plus 1 fourth r to the fourth cosine theta. r is bounded between 1 and 2 d theta. So this guy is integral 0 to 2 pi sine theta. And if you're plugging 2, you get 16 divided by 3 plus 16 over 4 or 4 cosine theta minus, if I plug in 1, I get 2 thirds. If I plug in 1, negative 1 fourth cosine theta d theta. Perfect. We can simplify this. We can add these together and then do the computation. This becomes integral 0 to 2 pi sine theta. And here you get 14 over 3 and plus 15 over 4 cosine theta d theta. Here you can use u sub. You can say that, hey, my u is equal to 14 over 3 plus 15 over 4 cosine theta, and du is negative 15 over 4 sine theta. 
d theta. So this guy becomes negative 4 over 15. And here you have 14 over 3. And you have power 2 as well on the right. Or you can just use this. You have a half. 14 over 3 plus 15 over 4 cosine theta to the second power, 0 to 2 pi. Well, if you simplify this, your output is equal to, let's see, what do we get here? Okay, we have a theta, or this is just u. Let me see. I have negative 2 over 15. Then I have 14 over 3 plus 15 over 4 of cosine theta. And here I have a 1 to the second power. Okay, let's see. And minus, if I plug in 0, I get the same thing on the right, but with opposite. So it's going to be 0. Okay, so the output is equal to zero.